Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over something called the exterior angle theorem. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about what an exterior angle is, first of all. And we're going to be using triangles mostly for this. Um, and then there's a theorem that's attached with this, something that's always going to be true, right? So this is what the exterior angle theorem says. Um, <clears throat> if I have any triangle... And let's just say I take one of the sides, like I took this side right here, and I extended it into a straight line. You'll notice that I have angle A is outside the triangle, right? Angle A is known as the exterior angle. Okay? Now, you can create an exterior angle really anywhere on this triangle. If I would have, for example, taken this line here, this side, and I would have extended it all the way out there, okay, so there's a straight line going this way, this angle outside would be the exterior angle, right? And then this one plus this one would equal something. Now, here's the cool thing about exterior angles. There, there's two things that you always will be able to know from an exterior angle. That in this case, angle A, and then the angle that's immediately next to it, angle B, in this case, will always equal 180 degrees. Now, why is that? Because basically this is a straight line, and we know that straight lines equal 180 degrees. But here's the exterior angle theorem that is it's more important. Angle A will always be equal to the sum of the two opposite angles. Let me say that again. The exterior angle for this side will always be equal to the, the sum of the two angles on the opposite side of the triangle. Now, what does that mean for this particular example? Well, we know that A plus B will equal 180. That was the very first corollary that I said. So angle A plus angle B will be equal to 180 degrees. Now, do we have any way of finding out what angle A or angle B is? Well, we do according to our theorem. And one of the theorems that we also know is that angle B plus this angle plus this angle should also equal 180 degrees, right? Because the angles in a triangle will always be equal to 180. So off to the side here, let's just go with 79 degrees and 49 degrees, and we'll say angle B. We know that they should equal 180 degrees, okay? So let's add those two up. We get 18, carry the one, that's 812. So 128 degrees plus angle B should equal 180. Let's subtract 128 from both sides. That goes away. And we get 2752. So 52 should be equal to angle B. All right, so we know that B is 52 degrees. So 52 plus angle A, let's just substitute that up here, will be equal to 180. So we basically now, let's subtract 52 from both sides, and look what we get. We get 128. So according to this, angle A should be equal to the exterior angle to 128 degrees, which happens to be the sum of the two opposite angles from here. Okay, So our exterior angle is proved two ways. We use the triangle sum theory, which is right here, and we use the external angle theorem, which is right here that this is always equal to the two opposite angles. Now let me just show you one more example of this and then we'll be finished with it. So let's say, here's an example. 
uh, I know that my exterior angle is 134, and I want to find angle A and angle B, okay? Now, again, I know from the straight line that 180 degrees should be equal to this angle B plus 134. So I'm going to say angle B plus 134 should be equal to 180 degrees, okay? Let's subtract 134. That's a 6, that's a 7, that's a 4. So that means that angle B should be equal to 46 degrees, okay? Now, I also know that angle A and angle 112 should be equal to angle exterior angle 134. So let's try that. Angle A plus 112 should be equal to 134. That's according to my exterior angle theorem. Let's subtract 112 from both sides. Which means that angle A should be equal to 22 degrees. Now there's one last check that we can have. We know that the three angles in a triangle should be equal to 180. So let's add up 22 plus 112 plus 46. And we know that that should equal 180. Let's see if it does. 2 and 2 is 4, 6 is 10, carry the 1, 1, 3, five, uh, one, three four, 4 is 8, 180 degrees. So each one of these is correct. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Just basically what I was trying to demonstrate here is that the external angle theorem is another way of finding what this external angle is equal to basically just says it's equal to the sum of the two opposite ones, but then there's a number of ways of checking that. One of them is using the triangle sum theorem. One of them is using the straight line 180 degrees theorem. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you.